So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run a simple query. We're gonna run a query that hits my customer um, table within my burst bank schema, within my data lake. And we're gonna limit it specifically to 50 records. So I'm gonna copy this over. I'm gonna execute this. And again, that execution should be automatic. I can go ahead and see that this is the result set that was returned to me from within the query. We're getting about 50 or exactly 50 records returned from within this, this query execution. And I can see some of the detail that actually happened when I was running that query. I could see what my total row counts are. I could see what my splits are. I can see what my data throughput is. I can see that. And now that I have this step completed, I'm gonna go ahead and complete that step. So what we're gonna do is now is we are um, going to jump in to the, um, we are actually gonna quit this, I believe. And, and any of these steps that we that we run, we always want that semicolon as well to let us know that the, the query has been executed and we don't need to do anything else. When we when we do um, when we do quit, we should be able to see um, um, uh, you know the, the the final results here of the of the query execution. So you should be able to see that. But what I want you to note as well is the actual query ID. So here we should be looking at something that begins with 2021 and 00001. So it should look something like this right here. And the reason why we left the previous overview window open and why we wanna look specifically at this query ID is because we're gonna get additional insights into this query from within the, uh, the cluster overview.